Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> I'm looking for my stuff and it's right in here. I already brought it in here. Isn't that something else? <laughs> Who's out there right now? Hit that like button. Been a while. Ah! What are you guys doing? <laughs> okay. We're almost ready. He is outside taking a walk right now. Does anybody know who his name is? Does anybody know the Russian Balanka's name? Anybody? Say it out loud if you know his name. And I miss you guys. I miss you guys a lot. It's been uh, really busy. Shimmy, this is for you, baby. She's been giving me like powwow tops. Rebecca, this is for you, baby. Ooh, Vix, what's up, Vix? Yes, this is the Russian Balanka. You got the name right on the ball. Do a wipe down here real quick. It's so hot here that my regular smocks are not made to wick the sweat that I, if you, I groomed a small dog outside today because it was not, it was not vaccinated. And it is so hot here that the silk smock that Betty made for me with the designs that I gave her, the silk smocks will help you wick your, your body heat. So if you're working outside in the heat or you're out mobile grooming and you are wearing a polyester smock and it's still making you sweat like bricks, there's only a limited amount of the silk smocks that we made. I recommend getting one. So when you want to stand in the sun and groom, which we do that here in Texas, when we do outdoor events, or if you're grooming and you're always hot, try the silk smock. Um, okay, just thought I'd mention that. That's why I've got this baby on today. And let me go check, make sure the client is almost coming in. So I'm gonna go grab a couple more things. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, he's out there waiting for me. The thing, I, the, listen here, Joey. The thing that's really interesting to me is that you were out there barking at me in the hallway, you know, in the lobby. Okay. You were out there barking at me in the hallway, and now you made me feel like you might be a little upset today. Like, um, okay, you laying down? You want to lay down? Okay, that's cool. All right, Joey is laying down. I remember the first time too, man. Ooh, every time I groom him, I remember the first time. Ain't no play. 
We're not playing around here, baby. Okay. Everyone breathing? Everyone say hello. Say good morning to me. How many? 23 of y'all out there? Can I get a good morning hello? Hit that thumbs up. Be okay. I really want to talk to you, but he is ready for me. He already just went on a walk. He wants me to get this going. When the dog comes in and he's panting, you need to get him on the table and you need to start with him and you need to get going ASAP. So let's not mess around. Remind me to talk after. For those of you guys who would love me and I love you back, remind me I have some things I want to share with you. And hopefully I won't lose my train of thought. I'm going to use a face mask and gloves to cover myself from getting hair in my lungs and hair and splinters in my fingers. We've got all our lights on and we are ready to roll. All right, let's do this. Now, even though he's aggressive and he and I know each other, I still always protect myself. That's that's the territory in grooming an aggressive dog. So, you never put your guard down. And I don't know why I put my guard down with human beings. I should not you should not put your guard down with human beings either. So, hopefully you're learning this life lesson. Don't put your guard down with human beings either especially with some people that continuously come and attack. Their attackers are going to attack for the rest of their life. Likely they're not going to change. So dogs, we can get them to understand if we can reverse the trauma a little bit, we can have better experiences for grooming. But don't think that you can let your guard down and not that dog be unpredictable one more time in its life with you as a groomer and a, a dog that you're grooming. So as much as I love him and as much as he loves me, because he does, he's shared that with me. In 2020, he fell in love with me, but it doesn't mean that he is not unpredictable because what has happened in his past at other places for grooming or even veterinarians or vet techs hitting the vein on the toenail trim causing pain, any of the pain that he has gone through that I don't even know all of it because I was not there, I can only assume because of what I do for a living. I can only assume where that started. It didn't start at home in most cases. So where did it start? Something that you weren't able to see, something you weren't able to touch, something you could never explain because you're not allowed to see, you're not allowed to watch, you're not allowed to go to the back room with these dogs. You can come to the back room here, baby. Check me out at myfavoritegroomer.com. Subscribe, like, and share on the videos here and all other social media platforms I'm on. And let's get him up here. All right, he's wagging his tail. He's letting me know, I see you, you're about to come at me. He's wagging his tail. It doesn't mean he's happy. It just means I see you, I'm gonna touch you. You're gonna touch me. Okay, come here, baby. Mm -hmm. Can I put this on? Come here, come here, let me put it on. Let me put it on, let me put it on, mister. Good boy, good boy. I'm gonna use two because one sometimes goes flying. Hey, buddy, let's put this one on, okay? Let's put this one on so I can pick you up, okay? Wanna pick your pick you up. <laughs> About to say something else. All right. We're picking you up now. Come here, baby boy. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Up, 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 up. There we go. Up, 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 up. Okay. We're going to tighten this up like this. This is a 24-inch groom loop. Yeah, he's not an 18-inch groom loop because I'm going to wrap around here because because of him, it's easy for me to now wrap around the neck there and loosen it here, protecting myself with two cone heads. Okay, not one, but two. I'm gonna work with him for about 40 minutes. I don't wanna muzzle him. I, I don't wanna take them, he's a really mean dog that hates his face to mess with. So I, want, I don't need to muzzle him, I've got two protections. One, two cone heads. You can get them at myfavoritegroomer.com in a kit of two for the size that you need. If you're a groomer, you can't see them because they're now behind me. I have about 15 cone heads, plastic and the fabric that I use every, I wanna have available for me to use at any one time. So if you're a groomer, you should have them all, especially if you're focusing like me, grooming aggressive dogs. We're going on almost 20 years. In September will be 20 years I've been grooming aggressive dogs. So I know a lot, I've been through a lot. I have a lot of experience to share with you. All right. And I like to tell you and remind myself to breathe. So make sure you are breathing, okay? I'm not gonna move the camera around too much. We're gonna just go with this. Hi, 
up to you, boy. How have you been? How have you been, hon? How have you been? You want to tell me how you've been? How's your day been going? So usually they don't walk you inside the salon anymore. I usually go and get you. And today you walked into my salon and you were barking at me. You were upset already. He has a very protective nature when it comes to his owners, especially the female pet parent. Blade all over. Why? Because I have hair, I have hair in my mouth. We're gonna do a 10 blade all over. I see him about every two months, and so we just want a short haircut. I told her last time, I said, if you want me to leave his ears long, I told her this a lot. So last time we left the ears a little long. I said, if you want, thank you so much, senior fly girl. Woohoo! Woohoo! Thank you for your donation, baby. If you want to leave the ears long and not brush them, and they get matted, and I have to deal with him at an aggressive level trying to get his ears not matted, you're, you guys will see me doing it today. It's not worth it. It's not worth it pissing him off because then he leaves upset and I don't want that. We're past that. So sometimes the dog gets upset when it's a bad day, when his mom, his pet parent had surgery, it was a bad week. I mean, he, they feed off of the human's energy, but if you're, so she said, Dee, just take the ears off. And I've never heard her say that because she always wants long ears and they're always tangled. So if you can't untangle the ears without possibly getting bit, my recommendation is skip it. Let me take it down short and keep them short. Okay, let's go. Tin blade all over every two months. So this bro out here is from doing a tin blade all over two months ago, okay? And they have been coming for now maybe five years, maybe four. Four and a half, like we're going to five years easy, you know what I'm saying? Look at all that static. And this is so hot here, there's static in summertime, which is not usually what we deal with. We usually deal with a lot of static, in the winter time. He would never let me do this before. So this is okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do all this, let him swing that leg out, but I'm gonna wait to do the tough the arms and the feet last, like after I get the whole body done. Because he doesn't like it. And so I know that. I don't want to get him upset in the beginning and have to deal with upset the whole group. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some water. You can get the water bottle that I love like this. You can get that at myfavoritegroomer.com. So you know you're spraying water. You don't have to label that one. Please hit that like button. Let me know you're out there by saying hello, what city you're in, and how hot is it where you're at. It's currently August 3rd, 2023, and we are live grooming this aggressive Russian Balanka. Be ready for a snapback. Don't put your guard down. I'm ready for it, you know. If you can tell what I'm doing, I'm not touching as much as I want to. Like touching, rubbing, like just get done. Don't sit here and mess around, just get done. When you're dealing with an aggressive dog, it's not time to play around. You put yourself in more risky zones of getting bit. Oh yeah, who cares if you get bit? If you get bit and hurt though, that dog can be put down. If you get bit and have to go to the ER, someone else is gonna take note and that dog can be put down.
All right, look, we're almost, that's his whole body already, except for underneath and underneath, everywhere he's sitting, right? So if he's sitting down, how am I going to get him to stand up? We're going to try to use the Dog Up Plus to get him some support to just stay up for me. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Let me go swipe, swipe, swipe here. There you go. Stay there. Can you stay up for me? No. Can you go that way with them? Let me see your foot. I'm not messing with your foot right now, though. I'm not going to mess with your foot right now. I'm going to come on your armpit. Good boy. Everyone say good boy. If you remember his first groove, you know this is a very good boy right now. You know he's very comfortable. You know he's doing a lot different than he was. It took time. A lot of time. A lot of grooming without injury. That means I cannot hit a vein. I can't do a nick. I can't nick him. I can't cause pain. It takes a lot of time to get here. And the only people that are involved in getting this cut in is me and his parents. His parents have to book it and stay booking. And be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Our first groom did not look like this. Years of every two months consistently. Every two months consistently. Has let him come to this. Isn't this an awesome point for a, an aggressive dog? Like, it's awesome. Do you know what it's like to own an aggressive dog that you cannot touch without being bit? Do you know what it's like to groom an aggressive dog that you cannot bathe yourself at home without being bit? Do you know what it's like to be that owner? If you do, comment below or chat it right now on the side feed. If you don't know what that means and you might not understand what these owners have to go through in order to keep owning him, and I'll just say this, what's sad is that he was not born that way. If he wasn't born that way, then what happened to get him to behave that way is all you can sit there and ponder and think about. If you don't know, you don't know, you can guess. If you have a little bit of experience like me, you can really understand where it probably happened. But you were not there, I was not there. I can only imagine what was happening, okay? With who, too? I can just only imagine it. And he's behaving really good, which is why I'm showing you after about nearly five years of grooming him, this is where we're at. Five years grooming an aggressive dog, this is how he has become to me now, finally. I'm purposely gonna trim this without having to use scissors. The grooming aggressive dogs with scissors is more dangerous. He's chilling, got his leg hanging out. I'm just going to go reverse with my 10 blade. So maybe I don't have to scissor that too much later at all, if at all. Let's try this one. Good boy. Good boy. You keep sitting on me. You keep, You know I got tools to help with that, right? You know that, right? <laughs> you know I got tools, right? Joey? You know? You know what I'm saying, Joey? Okay, let's do this arm over here. Ready? Can we have it? Good boy. Let me see. Let me see. Let's go with your armpit. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Let me see. Let me go underneath. Check your heat. I keep checking my heat, you know. Thank you for
for your membership. Woohoo, MP. You don't want me to touch that arm? Okay. Let's move over here for a minute. Got him thinking about something else. He put his arm down. See how that works? see someone every two months you can't expect them to be a pro you just got to let them help you work with it and so he's got his foot kicked up that's fine with me Throw this mini in there. Too small for him, but it reminded him to stay up, stood up, didn't it? 
So we went down and straight back up. using my 10 blade off and on as I'm not using it when I walk away and turn it off. That helps me keep it pretty cool, which is why I'm not having to spray lubricant or coolant on it. Spraying lubricant and coolant really bothers me, so I can only imagine it bothering the dog. So if I recommend, if, you, if I were you, and you're spraying the lubricant and you hate it, you can actually get a couple more 10 blades. You can shop at myfavoritegroomer.com. That'll help you to have more 10 blades than to use the solutions, the spray. It's just so potent. It's very strong. You see how I have my right hand underneath? Using my left hand to kind of put up that toe so I can see what I'm trimming from the top. Be ready for a buck back, just in case. He does not like his feet done, so you can see how much he has changed over the years because he's really letting me get in there. Now let's double check the tail here. I felt some knots earlier, but let's see what's going on. We'll check. You can check with the comb. It's knotted, knotted. How much time are you going to stay here? Because this, this part pisses them off. So I'm just going to take my blade and run it long ways. Could I, be a, could I shave the whole tail? I could. But I, I purposely know that the owner likes some long stuff. And he's doing really good. So I'm just going to I cut through those knots with my blade. He's not going to want me to demap. Like, that would really piss him off. So I don't, I'm trying to avoid pissing him off. We're not going to spend a lot of time here. Get it off. Get those knots out of there and move on. He's not one of your regular dogs. He's an aggressive dog. And he's not acting aggressive now because I know what I'm doing and I know him well. It's like how you might know your mom or you know your dad or you know your brother. You know what pisses him off. You know how to make him laugh and cry real easily. It's the same thing. Like, I know him really well. And I'm not here to upset him for a grooming. That's the last thing we want to do if we've had years of getting to know each other and really having a great grooming experience. We want to not get to that point, hopefully. So be fast. Get in there, get out. Stop wasting your time messing around. Just get in and get out, as long as the cut's done. When you're grooming an aggressive dog, the last thing you need to do is be a perfectionist. That's not what you need to do for an aggressive dog, okay? That starts to piss them, piss them off. You're taking too long. Okay, let's do the pads, and this part he might get upset with, so be ready for that. He might get upset with the pads. Isn't this mini silly? It barely fits in there, but it just reminded him to stay stood up. And this is why I have invented the product, but I also use every single one because they're at my fingertips. You guys good there? Hit that thumbs up for me, hit the like. Those of you guys being memberships, thank you so much for your memberships. Last hello was Sarah. Say hello, you guys, say hello. Let me know you're out there, what you're thinking. I'm gonna change this to a 40 blade, 50 blade. You don't like it? Watch the body language, moving a little bit, pulling. If he starts to jerk, he doesn't want me there, so let's hurry up, you know? In and out, get there in and out. This hold has no body control, so he can whip back and try to bite me, and that everything can go flying and the bite can land. So I'm aware of that. I'm watching everything. I'm feeling what his body is doing and telling me he wants to do. Nice, nice. Let's just tri can I trim this one? Added in there. Are you upset? Did it upset you a little bit? I'm sorry. Let me, I got it out though. These clients are not gonna trim or touch or groom on him. No. If you have a dog like that, you understand? Comment below. Let me spread this over here. Can I look first? I don't want to 
don't get you upset, but let me, can I look here? I'll put all, push all that up then so I can at least get it, okay? Let's go ahead and go do all of the, this can help you. This arm, groom arm can help you, okay? Let's do all the pads real quick. Did you give it to me? Thank you. This is matted, it's gonna hurt a little bit. Please don't get upset, Joey. Don't get upset, okay? Let me see, let me see. Dig a little bit. Okay, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Thanks for letting me dig that out a little bit. Let me see. Let me see a little bit. Let me see. Good job. Good job, Joey. Good job. Let me see a little bit. A little rub there. A little love, love. Change the subject. Change the subject there. All these tricks that I've taught myself over the years has helped me accomplish the groom and get done pretty fast, but still get the job done and no injuries. Some of y'all stop and talk to the dog and stuff like that, you lose time. You lose a lot of time when you do that. You can do it, but you lose time. So some, some groomers that I've traveled, this one in Guam. In Guam, there's a groomer that took some lessons from me and she would explain to me how she would have the dog for six, seven, eight hours to get the job done. There's a lot of talking, one dog, but the dog is hanging out at her house. She's retired, she's doing it for fun. Not me, I have to do dog after dog after dog sometimes. And literally an aggressive dog, you don't want that dog on the table for six hours. Please don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Move quick. Know exactly what you want to do. Say you're sorry. Say you're going to hurt, not hurt the dog. Say you're going to hurry up and move and it's mad and it's going to be painful. That's going to hurt. And be quick about it. Don't stand here. That's for me. That's what I do. That's what I'm explaining what I do. I'm not going to stop and talk to him and coach him. I'm gonna, we're going to get through and be done. So instead of six hours, it's 45 minutes, and you can go home and rest the rest of the day. You don't have to hang out with me, and we don't have to try to keep doing it for 10 minutes every hour. No, we are done. We are going to get done fast and go home. That's just how I prefer it, right? Well, you want to go stay at the hospital for like 10 hours for them to do one thing, but it's, if you don't like it, it's painful, so let's just take our time doing it. No, man. If you want to pull that tooth, pull it out and get it over so I can go home and sleep, you know? With my face all numb. Don't be stand having me at the dentist for 10 hours because it's painful. Don't be doing that. We're all different. We all have our own opinions. So now we're done shaving all the pads. Let's move into a toenail trim. You lived on Guam? Me too. Okay, toenail trimming. I'm gonna lower him for the buck back not to be so high. And I'm gonna come around this way. This is my technique that I taught myself. You come around this way to have control of the body and be able to do a little support as you tuck the tail under and do a nail trim. That way he's not looking at you. If he goes to bite me, he's gonna bite my arm, not my face, hopefully, because I've got a big hold on his, I got what is called a hug around his entire body. I call it a hug because I am really hugging him with my spirit. All dogs will not let you do this, but you can try. If they're dancing on the table, you might want to try it because this is not going to let them dance on the table. Little by little allows me to get right up onto the vein and not hit the vein. I did and get off of me. <laughs> did you guys hear did you guys hear him say that at all? Okay, we're gonna 
take this one off, okay? We did all the nails and no buck back, yeah! Don't you love it when there's success? I do. I love it when there's success. trying to jerk that cone head off? You can't. You can't jerk the cone head off. I need it on as we work your neck first. I don't know. I said a lot. Sherry, what's up you guys on Facebook? How y'all doing? And thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and being part of what I'm doing here. I really appreciate you. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. You know what you're supposed to do on social media these days. Okay, we're going to sweep all that in there. I don't have to do it right now, but I'm going to give us why because I'm giving a second for breather. I'm just giving everyone a second to breathe. Okay, let's go. This needs to be a little tighter as I come in and work with his face, but actually it should be a little bit. No, no, we're good here. We're good here. Let's do the neckline first, okay? Be ready. This could fly off, so we're going to work the neck first alone. You guys ready for this? I'm going to go going with the neck alone. Ten blade, double check because I moved around. Grab that. Get your cone heads at myfavoritegroomer.com. I recommend two. One that goes flying and one that's still on and then repeat. Put it back on. Face needs to be pretty short. Ears, they like the ears long, but they, she said they're knotted. And finally, she said, you're right, just take them down. So I'm just going to see what I'm dealing with when I get there and his demeanor. Everything can change because he doesn't like his face down either, but he's been pretty good, right, for everything else. Almost five years, and this is where we're at because this is not how he was acting five years ago. Not even three. Three years ago is still tough. I think Joey has a playlist on my channel on YouTube. I think he has his own playlist. If anything, you can type in my favorite groomer, Russian Balanka. You can see all his videos, including the first one. Try to get everything you can with the cone head on. And then as you take the cone head off, you're going to be putting yourself in a vulnerable position to get bit. So just know that. Once the cone head is off and you're trying to do his face, any dog's face, and they're aggressive, then that's when you're like, okay, my guard needs to be really up and I need to know what I'm doing. If I don't know what I'm doing, someone can get hurt. If you get hurt, you, you have to go to the ER. He can get hurt. He can be put down. You can't predict it, so just walk, don't even go there. Don't even try to get him. Don't even try to get yourself in no ER. That's what I'm trying to say. If you want aggressive dog training, I would love to teach you. Go to myfavoritegroomer.com. Scroll down to the bottom. Hit contact. Give me a call. Let's get you guys some aggressive dog grooming training because I will not be here forever. About cutting, not cutting the vein. So if you hit the vein over and over, that dog is probably going to get pretty upset at some point. It might take two years, six months, five years, seven years, or nine years. And if you keep doing that, the dog will not let you touch. And then that person, you're going to say, I can't help you no more, which is what I get a lot. Do not hit the vein on the toenail. It can happen, and it can happen to all of us. But repeatedly hitting the vein on a dog that you're grooming will cause that dog to soon hate you because of the pain because we were doing the pain, okay? We don't want to do that. I hope that's what you mean. Worst case scenario, Sherry, you can go back and rewind and listen to what I said already, okay? Because cover, I'm covering a lot of ground here. All right, so now we did the neckline. We're gonna go up here because we don't want his head moving around too crazily, like. Okay, and we're gonna bring him a little forward. Can you come a little forward here? Oh, a little forward, there you go. You're good, you're good. Do some love in here. Get some love in there. Hey, baby boy. I got this. This is a really fat one. I don't know that I love this, but this is what I've got that I'm using right now. So, oh, well, I'm using it. Let's see how it works for me. You want some control of the neck? Why would I not strap him here? Because the sucker moves. Those people who don't even get what I'm doing, you cannot put anything here to strap him here because if he moves, my groom arm moves. That's just stupid. That's stupid advice. Don't do that. Never said that before. What you don't know, you just don't know. You can't act like you know if you don't know. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, that little whatever you put right here to put this on and do all that, that works great for a stable arm, but this is a moving arm. Okay? That's not going to happen here. I'm not going to use that. Hi, guys. First thing I like
like to do when I'm working with an aggressive dog face, even one that I know, I'm going to go ahead and put a guard on the face. The reason why I'm going to put a guard on top of my 10 blade, not a 30 blade, not a 15, but a guard, I'm going to test how moody he is today by the reactions he has to my clipper. Why not muzzle him right now? Well, honestly, he hates muzzles. His parents could not put a muzzle on him two and a half years ago, three years ago, so we stopped muzzling altogether. They would get bit when they would try to approach him. He knew the muzzle. He knew what that was going to do. But muzzling him now would prevent me from doing all the hair cutting I need to do. It's in the way. Okay? If you love the tips you're getting, please leave me a review. If it's helped you a lot, please shop with me at myfavoritegroomer.com. I love you guys. Here we go. We're going to come in and do a reverse guard cut with a 10 blade and a 4 guard. Okay? I just want to, this is how I test it first. If he starts snapping, I know he's really moody, and then I need to readjust how I want to go about it. So this is going to really determine what I do, and I do this every time. You'll always see me throw a guard on because I'd rather them attack the guard than the cutting blade. If they cut, if they bite the cutting blade, they may nick their tongue. You can see he does not like it. This is where you have to be fast. Efficient, speedy, direct, calm, patient. And I got this thing on my arm. I've never done that before. This is going to get me looped up. This is too long for me to use as a groom. Next time I have to switch it out. This is too long. This is great to give your clients. I have a bunch of these. They're like a buck. But this is not what I need to groom an aggressive dog. Usually I have a thinner one. I just didn't grab it right now. Food for thought, Miss Edie. Yawning is not because he's tired. He's ready. That's a, I want to bite, but maybe I shouldn't. We're going to check our heat before we go straight up to the face. So I'm going to switch blades again. I got my tin blade on. It's nice and cool. All this stuff here, I hope to get off. So we're going to go in and just try to take that off right now. Here we go. Let's get our grooming aggressive face tool, which I have at myfavoritegroomer.com as well. And let's put this in my fingertips here. Oh, no, no, let's just drop it. Let's just drop that. Wait, 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 wait. Good boy. Wait for me to get in there. Wait, 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 wait. Good boy. Let me see. Good boy, let me see. Let me see this, buddy. Let me see here, bud. Don't get upset. Don't get upset just yet. Don't get upset, please. Joey, Joey, easy peasy. Easy peasy, good boy. Good boy, was that a growl? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go, buddy. There we go, easy peasy, easy peasy. Hold on, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Look the other way. Look the other way. You're doing so good. Look at the other way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good boy. Come over here. Let me take you over here with me. You see your eyeball area? There we go. You got that little karate move. Ba -ba! Get that baby. <laughs> you gotta be fast, but not sloppy fast. You gotta know exactly your target. Look where you wanna go, just like when you drive a motorcycle. Look where you wanna go. You wanna look at the ditch, you will hit the ditch. See how knotted it is, okay? Okay, don't get upset. Do you see how he doesn't like it? He does not like it. He does not like tangles at all. 
No, okay, I, look, look, this is why I told your mom that if she can't brush, it's a bad day. She told me today, you're right. I'm not doing very good about it. So, <laughs> remember how I told you guys, like, we're not going to muzzle him? I'm going to mess with his ears, but I'm going to see if I can just really, I'm sometimes good and sometimes I just ditch it. I'll see if he'll let me get this. Da, 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 da. Easy, easy, let me have it, let me have it. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, very good boy. The drill sergeant voice, I promise you, works. Good boy, hold on now, hold on, let me see. Let me see, we're gonna mess with your ears together, okay? We're gonna take our tin blade and come in here and really take it down a little bit, okay? Let's see what's going on here. Better, better, good boy. Don't get mad at me, please. Good boy, good boy. Let me see, let's get all this out of there. Good boy, there's, there's the tangle right there, there it is. Good boy, let me see, let me see please. Let me see, good boy. Let me see, good boy, don't get mad. Don't get mad please. Don't get mad please, good boy. Good boy, that's a good boy, I appreciate you. I really do. I appreciate you letting me do this, okay? Don't get too mad. Don't get too mad at me. Can he bite me through the muzzle? Yes. Yes, he can bite me through the muzzle. There's another knot right there coming out. Boom. Okay, we're going to come back up and try to tidy that if we can. If not, at least the knots are all out. We're going to try to even this up, too. I don't really mean even, but just match it to the other side. Good boy. Good boy. You can't tell, but I can. I can feel where the knots are, and that's where I'm focused on. And then I'm going to come back and reevaluate. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Look at all that hair we got off of your ears. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we're going to come and trim, and my trimmer ear scissors are over here. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. No, Joey, no. Thank you. See, they can take off the muzzle too, bro. Woo, you almost took that muzzle off. Woo, boy. Was he yelling at you? He spilled the nails. He didn't get that muzzle off. He didn't because he didn't. He listened to me because he can get this muzzle off nice and easily. Okay, let's see here. Don't get upset. I'm just going to do some trimming here. Let's check and see if there's any knots. Good boy. You're doing so good. Okay, you're doing so good. Cannot believe it. You're letting me get up in here. Good boy. Good boy. Hold that leather of the skin so you don't trim it. Don't cut the leather. Doesn't need to be perfect. He's a mean dog. We're lucky to be getting this much done. Look at all the static on my scissors. That much static, you can cut the wrong thing. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I really want to pull some ear hair. We'll see if you let me do it. They're not always going to let you do everything, okay? So sometimes you're just going to have to chalk it up to, I'll get it done next time. That's with an aggressive dog. You don't need to piss them off every time they come in. You think they're going to love coming in? No, they're not. They're not going to love coming in. Don't push them. There's a limit. Everyone has a limit. Just like humans, we have a limit of what we can, what we can take and deal with. Don't push people past their limit. If someone wants space, give them space. If they ask for space, give them space. If they ask you to stop, give them to stop. If you can't stop, leave them alone for a minute. <laughs> wait a second, okay? Just wait a second here. Let me see if I can't get some of this ear hair out. Time is of the essence. Okay, let's get some ear hair out. Let me see. Don't get upset here. Don't get too upset. Let me see. There we go, buddy. There we go. There we go. There we go, let me see. Good boy, steady, steady Betty. Everyone say steady Betty in memory for Betty. Everyone say steady Betty. Okay, hold on, don't get too pissed. Don't get too pissed, don't get too pissed. We'll stop right there. Don't get too pissed, please, look at me. I got you, man, right here, look at me, I got you. Okay, you're ready to fight, I know you are. Don't get too pissed, please. Don't get too pissed, oh, ah, 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 ah. Don't hold your breath, breathe. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Let me see, let me see, look at me. Look at me, good boy. Good boy, a little bit more. Can I get a little bit more? You're gonna be really pissed. A little bit more, a little bit more. Good boy. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. We're done with that, okay? We're done with that, got all that ear hair out, yep. Everyone breathe. 
The dogs will hold their breath when they're about to attack. You gotta make sure they're breathing too. Come forward. Let me see. Let me see your face. Well, I got you here. Let me see if I can get this face part shaved a little bit more. Let's see, okay? Okay, let's take this off. All right, let's see what we're working with here. See what we're working with. Side eye, did you give me some side eye? You gave me some side eye earlier? No, you didn't. You gave me some side eye after all we've been through, bro. All right, can I? Um, <sighs> how we doing, you guys? How we doing? I'm gonna breathe, right? Breathe. You're gonna give me body side language, wagging tail, which means I'm gonna touch you somehow, some way. You don't want to look at me, but you got hair sticking in your mouth that you keep licking like, keep pushing it out of your mouth, see? See, see what I'm saying? See, I'm trying to get that out for you. So you have to help work with me. Yeah, see, that's why I want to get that out of your mouth for you, okay? Is it possible? Really need that thinner, a thinner lead. I keep giving them all away. Um, shoot, this is too fat for this. Okay, come here, let me see. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna calm our energy down here. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Don't bite my hand. No, don't look at my hand like it's nice meat to the like test. Come here. Wait. Come, can you come closer? Come close. Let me see. Did you see that look? I got karate. I got karate lessons, bro. So silly. Okay, hold on. Choto mate. Choto. Choto mate. Let me move this. Choto mate. Okay, listen, don't tell me what to do. Okay, don't tell me what to do. Let me see this, please. Let me get it back. Get it back. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, ready? Okay, hold on. Not these scissors. Bubble tip, please. Thank you very much. Let me see. Okay, let me see, please. Let me let me feel it out here. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you very much. Very good. Very, very good. There we go. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Don't keep moving. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good boy. Hold it. Good boy. Let me see over here. Now, let me see, let me see, let me see. No, don't do that. No, sir, don't do it. Let me see, let me see, please. Let me see, let me see. It's not working out. I need these other scissors. Bubble tips will push the hair around at the tip, but not grab it. So the point tip is what I need. However, I need a little bit of cooperation here. Aggressive face tool. This is my last attempt. It's not a big deal. 
What I'm trying to get will help him, but it's not a big deal if you can't get it. I'm going to close his eyes here. Hup! 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 Hup, hup! Wait, wait, put your foot down. Put your foot down. Good boy. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Good boy. Let me see. No, sir. Don't tell me what to do. No, sir. No, sir. Good boy. Good boy. Let me see here. Let me see. Good boy. Good boy. A little bit more right there. Don't move. Don't move. Wait. Don't move. Listen. Listen. Listen here. Joey, look. You got two pieces of hair. Listen. Listen. Going in your mouth right now. Look. Look. Going in your mouth right now. And if I don't get them, right, you're going to be doing that for like two months. Okay? So just bear with me here. Okay? Bear with me. Let me get it. Let me get it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Come here. Come here. No, sir. No, sir. Can you turn your head any further? I mean, like, what are you trying to do here, bud? What do I need to be able to accomplish this? I need another groom loop. Okay. I need something else. I need something. No, 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 sir, no, sir. Let me have it. No, sir, no, sir, no, sir, good boy. No, sir, no, sir, good boy. Let me see, don't do it, don't do it. Stay, good boy, the good boy. Let me see that, a good boy, a good boy, good boy. Yes, sir, let me see. Good boy, good boy. There we go, good boy. There we go, thank you. It worked, the fat one worked, but this fat will lead, but I'm not gonna have that in here again. Shh, close your mouth a little bit. Ah, 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 ah. Good boy, good boy, good boy. You see, is that all in your mouth? Yeah, show me, go ahead, show me. Is that, oh, right there. Steady, Betty. I have hair in my eyeball, dang it. Okay, hold on, let me see, let me see. You see? Is that right there? Hold on, Mom. Well, this is the last. This is the last thing we're gonna do. This is the last thing. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Open your mouth one more time. Look that. Look up. You're looking at me big time now, huh? Yes, you are. Right there. Here it is. Right here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Is that all it? Let's see. Let's see. Woo! How'd I do? How do we do? Let me see. What do you still have going in your mouth? There's something in there. Let me see. Let me see. Joey. 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 Come here. Joey. 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 Good boy. Joey. Oh, I got it. Yes, I did. I did get it. Yes, I did. That's good enough. That's good enough, yeah? Is that good enough? <laughs> is that good enough? That's good enough, right? Yes, it is, boy. Yes, it is, baby boy. That's good enough. That's good enough. Let me see it. That's good enough, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is good enough. All right. Well, That's an aggressive dog face trim. If you want tools, myfavoritegroomer.com. Get your clipper, scissors, point scissors, bubble tip scissors, and it's five speed, 10 blade, four guard. Boom. All right. Let's give you a bath. Right here, man. Right here, baby doll. You did so good. I want to give you a hug, but we're not, yeah, I know you're not like that. I know you're not, you know, like this public affection thing, you have a problem with it and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to put this on you to pick you up, okay? I'm going to put this on you to pick you up. All right, there you go, there you go. All right, why don't you guys give me a reaction? Let me know what he does when I give him a hug. Here we go. He's gonna give you a hug, you did so good! You did so good today. You did so good today. I'm gonna give you a hug, come here, give me a hug, give me a hug, come here, come here. Oh, you did so good today. You did so good today. Yes, you did, you did so good, yes, you did. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Oh my God, a big hug, big hug for you. I'm so proud of you, that's the best ever. In five years, that's the best, best baby. That's the best, yes it is, that's the best. 
You did something like, oh, I can love on you. Yes, I can love you. Yes, I could. You didn't get mad? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, we'll click you out and go take you to the back, okay? Right, it's right here. <laughs> okay, don't swing that. I gotta take it off in a minute. Up, 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 up. Good boy. Good boy. Stay there for me. Let me click you in. Stay. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Love it. I love it. Love my job. I might be in the way here, but at least you get to see it. Hey, you. All right. We get a, this wet smock going on here, on, so I don't get too damp in the process. Let's have some Tearless Shampoo. Pick it up at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. We also have it in, in Pet Silk brand, but Tearless Shampoo. Want an aggressive dog that's going to bite you to touch their head? You can put it right on your paddle here, which I call this my aggressive face tool. It's not coming. So do that. Put it right on your paddle there. So you're not skipping the face, but you're also not handling the face. And, and get bit, okay? We're going to put that up there. And tearless, you know, if it gets sprayed around, there's no chemicals in it that will hurt the eyes. This is what they say. water cover that we made together, Betty and I. We have a handful left still. We're going to come this way with it. Hold on. With this. Shh. 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 Easy. Easy. Almost done. Easy. 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 Easy peasy. Come on. Come on, Joey. Come on, Joey. Hold on. Hold on, Joey. Hold on. Hold on. Good boy. Good boy. 
down your cheeks and stuff, okay? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. clean towel for you. Okay, we're going to put this on you here. Bring it over to the table now. Jumping up. You ready to go? Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go nowhere yet. Don't go nowhere yet. Not yet. Okay. Almost, but not yet. Almost, but not yet. Okay. There we go. Good boy. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I sure miss you guys. Guys and gals, you can check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. And this week and last week, I know that some ads have, with promo codes have gone out in an email. If you're not subscribed, you're not getting them. Or if you have unsubscribed, you're missing out on some major deals, like on the tearless shampoo. So make sure you are subscribed at myfavoritegroomer.com where it says newsletter. Make sure you sign up and hit the word subscribe. That's subscribing to the website's emails. And when we have deals, which we are having deals twice a week now, you don't miss out, okay? Some of those deals are really, really good. You wouldn't want to miss it. I think we did 40% off scissors two weeks ago, so please. Those 40% off scissors were like the Anvil blender scissors, which some of them run $200, you know? Fast tail wagging is a sign that he might react, so be ready. Don't think it's not going to happen to you. And with the cone head, hey, hey, pull one coat, pull one ear out. And drying is not a big deal. He can air dry, but I'm just testing it a little bit and drying him while I'm chilling with you guys and pulling one ear out. He didn't really love that, so this might not work out here, but I'll try. We're going to try. Okay, okay, all done, all done. We're done, we're just drying, okay? We're just drying, bud, okay? Are you trying to take the cone head off already, like that? He's ready to go. You ready to go? Okay, I got you. We're almost done here. Okay, we're good there. I'm gonna finish off with a little diamond, a little dime of liquid silk on his coat. When it dries, it's going to smell delicious, and it's going to feel soft. Liquid silk at myfavoritegroomer.com. Mmm. Well, you're being a little feisty for me to dry your face, but, hmm, what do you think? Yeah, i got to bring you down to the ground. Okay, let's get one photograph. Is that okay? Some dogs are back here making noise today. Good job. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to take him outside to his pet parents. I'm going to use this.
montage. Oh my goodness. Hey y'all. Now we get a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time. Um, I could keep you on and do a little bit of more grooming if you guys want. Let me see who's out there and what are y'all doing? 36 of you guys? Because every one of my dogs needs help right now. Like I've been so busy. Every single one of my dogs needs help. So I Oh gosh, let me tell you why so there's no rumors. So the dogs are in horrible shape. Uh, they keep turning the water off here because there's a main leak out there. And so I think for two weeks I've needed to groom all of my dogs, but all of last week we had no water during the daytime. And so part of me is like, well, I could do the grooming, but then just wait, you know, to just to schedule. So today, so today we lose water at 8 p.m all night so i'm glad they're doing that but then what if it doesn't get turned back on tomorrow you won't know until they're actually doing the work and they're done with the work so food for thought for those of you guys watching when you guys watch if you are watching then you get the facts otherwise people just say what they want to say but let's scroll real quick before i do continue and maybe i will continue because right now it would be a perfect opportunity for me to just keep going so we can bring saki in here do some cutting on her we can bring you know what i'm saying do you guys want to do that? What do you, are you guys going to stick around? I kind of kept an eye on the feed. So those of you guys been here, thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the follows and shares. If you did any of those, thanks for your donations. And thanks for being fans that have been here for a long time, including folks like AAK, Senior Fly Girl. I haven't seen Naya Niz Phoenix, I don't think, but MP. And if I missed your name, forgive me, but Pookie Puppy. Those of you guys watching all the time, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you. Love you guys. We are going to go back and I'm just going to say, and Vix, I've seen Vix, I've seen Vix before. So thank you, Vix. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, oh, well, nothing's happening. So I guess nothing's going to happen, Kathy says. And maybe so, but you never know, right? You guys can't predict that. You, in the beginning of the groom, can't predict it. Today we had a really, really great groom. Liz, I plan on visiting Australia soon to see my fans out there. So please subscribe at myfavoritegroomer.com to make sure you get that newsletter that I am on my way to Australia. I have so many fans out there and so many people who have bought the dogupstand.com product in Australia. Go figure. They really, really, really care about their dogs out there. And I say that because they groomers buy extra things more than any other state that I have can compare Australia to. Australians, you guys all, almost all have my dogupstand.com products, so thank you. So hey Liz, Nyanza Phoenix, I'm in Las Vegas and it has been in the hundreds. We haven't left the hundreds, I don't think. Arizona hasn't left the hundreds either, right? But Vegas, it's hot, it's super hot, I bet. Debbie says, I'm in Haverhill, Massachusetts. What's up? Is it cool up there? Are you guys getting some heat too? Okay, R Renee says, he seems so good. My Bichon would not stay quite that long, especially with two cones. I have an aggressive dog, Anita says. I'm learning great, some great tips from you. Thanks for sharing. I have a cone from, from him surgery and we'll give that a try. Okay, let me just clarify. Cones with from surgery usually have clicks click, 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 or they go inside and snap, or they slide into grooves. These are Velcro. So when you are dealing with an aggressive dog, to put that cone head on takes too long. You get bit. So I sell um, the one that Betty made us, and rest in peace, Betty, we love you. We're going to remember you almost every time we come together because she's helped me make so many things for my business. But we have a cone head she's made. We have cone, plastic cone heads she didn't make. We have the soft cone heads, and they're all Velcroed for a reason. If you have a cone head from surgery, if it has all those clicks and you try to take too long to click, 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 and all that, that's where it may be different. So if it is different, I challenge you, come out to myfavoritegroomer.com and get one for this particular, this tool for that type of grooming if you're dealing with your own dog. Some of you guys, if you end up having an aggressive dog and owning an aggressive dog, it's good to be able to have a Velcro type of cone head in case you have to pick burrs off the dog or the dog's licking at something and you can't normally touch the dog, so you throw on the cone head, boom, real fast, boom, and look at it. Or let's just say he's having a bad day, something happened, you have to take him to a veterinarian and when you go to pick him up, he's trying to bite you. Get that cone head on, boom, Velcro, dot, and pick him up. 
So if you have a, an aggressive dog, I would definitely recommend a cone head with Velcro for him for life. It's that one time where you're like, I can't pick him up. No one can pick him up. Then how are you going to pick him up? Drag him? Yeah, you're going to drag him. So instead of doing that, throw that cone head on and pick him up and go like, okay, we're headed to the vet. Okay, I need to put him on the table. Let's look at this scar he has or let's look at this injury. What is he licking? Does he have a, um, something stuck in his paw? Does he have a mat? You're like, what is going on here? At least you can handle your own aggressive dog. Senior Fly Girl says, he is adorable. It's unfortunate he's aggressive, but Didi, you could tame a Tasmanian devil. Great job. Mwah. Love you. Thank you. What's up, Boogie? Anybody else holding their breath? I was. Sativa says, any tips on how to get the body fur to look more even and not choppy? That's my struggle, but I just started grooming at home. Laugh out loud. What dog are you grooming? What blade are you using? How old is your clipper? How old is the blade drive in the clipper? Are you using a guard? How sharp are your blades? Do you need dog uh, guard? Excuse me. How sharp are your blades? Do you need your blades sharpened? Have you ever dropped your blade? Did you ever take the screws out of your blade? There's a billion reasons why there's a choppy coat. And if you want one-on-one -on -one private training, book a $9.99 30-minute phone call on myfavoritegroomer.com. But I need all of those answers in order to give you the right answer. Here's a easy fix. Come out to the website, order. You have to be using a clipper that can take the blades that I sell, which is a 10 blade. So if you look at your clipper and it came with a 10 blade, then you can pop that off and switch it to another 10 blade to test the 10 blades sharpness by it telling you whether there's jagged edges or not. So jagged edges could be a bunch of different things that I just mentioned. If you need more help than that, again, book a call, value my time. I will not give you not the facts that you need. I will not waste your time, so don't waste mine. If you need help, shop with me, call me, and let me know what's going on. That way we can determine what is really going on with your situation. Jaggedy coats are coats that are not brushed out, tools that are not sharpened, tools that are not good, cheap tools that you're using, cheap clippers. You don't know what you're doing, so you need help. You can't teach a doctor to be a doctor overnight, so you cannot teach a groomer to be a groomer overnight either, including your dog. You can't paint a picture of landscape with only one color. I mean, you can do a black and white, but if I was gonna paint Hawaii, I would need green, orange, blue. Whether I'm painting one picture or 10 pictures, I cannot just use one tool to accomplish everything in my job if there are certain things that I need to do, which is why you need to talk to a professional. So I would definitely do that. I think 30 minutes for $9.999 is very affordable. I know there's a lawyer that I talked to and he charges $150 an hour for his time. And I know why, because it's valuable. Poogie Puppy says, oh my gosh, Sativa, I butchered my dog when I first started grooming at home. Had Dee Dee on speed dial. Yes, you did. But Poogie Puppy has also ordered all of her tools from me. Most of them, anyway. Jennifer says, finally found you again after being away for a period of time. What's up? Look at that big handprint. I love it. Sativa says, po Pokey. Pokey? Pokey. Who loves Pokey? I love Pokey. I didn't help that I don't have my table yet, so I tried it all from a floor without an arm to help hold. I sell tables, Sativa. And have you ordered anything from me at all? If you have, usually when a, t a table order comes in, I call and make sure you get the right table. Nianza, the whistle at the end so that let the dog know that he was done with his grooming. No, that was to get his attention for a photograph. Whistling, I've got some squeakies back there. Nope, he knows we're done when the, he just knows we're done. He, kn he knows really well when we're done, but there's some things that might happen. The clipper gets put down. We're done with the bath. He's being dried with a towel. Those are all signs to the dog that if you do the consistent way of everything, that's usually the end, right? And um, unclicking, knows we're done, that kind of thing. So he probably knew we were getting done. And he was also kind of acting up in a sense of like, it looked like he was ready. Like he, when I said he's done, he's kind of getting more antsy. So there's a time limit. And so I guess the pet parent said, even with the talking on YouTube and stuff, there's about an hour that we spent on him with today or less. So I was like, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good amount of time for an aggressive dog to just be done, you know? All right, I think I'm hearing the dogs actually being fed right now. So I don't know that I I'm going to groom them right now. But I do need to wrap up their grooming. So let me see where everyone's at with it. If they're eating, I don't want to do it right now. I don't want them to get too excited for grooming. It, it's... um causes anxiety for anybody that you're doing haircutting, moving, clipping. If they're eating, I'm gonna let them eat. So give me a second. Let me go check and see if that's what they're doing right now.
Okay, everyone's getting ready to eat, so what I'll do is I will actually, I will be back later today. So go take a break and check, uh, make sure you're subscribed and the notification bell's on so that you can see that notification come through. We have a lot of work to do and I wanted to accomplish them before, it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> I want to accomplish them before the water gets turned off again. So um, maybe we'll see you in a few hours, okay? I'll give them time to eat, go potty, rest, eat, eat, rest, go potty, walk, and then back on the table. So we'll see you later this afternoon. Thanks a lot for showing up. Today is August 3rd, 2023. We will see you in a few hours. Love you guys. Bye.